This is the Iowa Weather Report for Friday, May 24th, 2013. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have some energy moving across the east, the Great Lakes and the Mid-Atlantic region. Another upper level feature over the Pacific Northwest. A ridge in between will still keep us quite cool today with high pressure overhead and just moving off to the east. Temperatures today in the 60s to lower 70s with plenty of sunshine, but increasing clouds from the west will be sign signaling a storm system moving in late tonight into Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms will be possible. It won't be an all-day rain, but it will be quite cool on Saturday with highs in the 60s across the state, maybe a few upper 50s as well. We move ahead from Saturday to Sunday, and it doesn't look much different. Showers, thunderstorms possible, temperatures stuck in the 60s across the area. With some dry periods intermixed, maybe a rumble of thunder as well. Severe weather is not likely Saturday and Sunday. Monday, however, we could see the chances of severe weather maybe increase slightly, as temperatures do warm to at least 70 degrees in most areas. The low-pressure center is still about near Goodland, Kansas at this point, with southwesterly winds around. On Tuesday, the rainfall looks to be a little more isolated and scattered across the state as the low lifts up into South Dakota. But some severe weather could be possible here as well, with temperatures well into the 70s at this point across the area. Wednesday, that low pressure center just does not want to move. It looks to retrograde back to northwestern Nebraska near about Shadron. Some isolated activity possible, maybe severe weather, highs in the 70s, maybe approaching 80 in some areas. Thursday, that low pressure center is now over South Dakota, 992 millibars. Some showers and thunderstorms possible again. Severe weather is also certainly possible also. And heavy rain is possible with all this rain as well. And even a week from today, we still have a 588 ridge over the Carolinas and Atlantic stretching into the south. And then some energy moving across the Dakotas. With the southwesterly flow aloft, you guessed it, it's going to rain some more. With the low pressure center near International Falls, another near the Oklahoma and Texas Panhandle. So severe weather could be possible again even a week from today. So some fairly active weather over the next seven days across the area. We move ahead into Voodoo and into the month of June. Here's June the 4th. We have an upper level feature over the Great Lakes, a northwesterly flow aloft, a ridge over the south and west will be bringing some heat across the desert south and west, but around here we'll have some cooler temperatures back into the well, around 70 degrees with maybe a few showers and clouds around, but the main activity looks to be across the east down the Appalachians into the south and Gulf Coast region. And at the end of the forecast on June the 8th, now we have a ridge overhead with an upper level feature, some energy over the mid-Atlantic, a trough over the west. But with the ridge overhead, that's going to bring us some drier and some warmer weather to the area as well. Maybe temperatures up into the 70s and 80s with, yet again, another storm system coming into the northern plains. So some activity is certainly possible if this was right by around the 9th or 10th of June, but this could change on the next run. The satellite image from last evening showed a complex of showers and thunderstorms over Texas. We had some clouds and some showers and a few thunderstorms across the northeast and mid-Atlantic. And another storm system, the one that will be affecting us over the next week across the north and west. The watch warning map from last evening, some flood watches in New England, some river flood warnings continuing along the Mississippi River Valley, some frost and freeze conditions in Wisconsin, Michigan, and in the west as well, with some snow advisories in Montana, heaven forbid. The QPF chart precipitation over the next five days. This is through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock, showing rainfall amounts anywhere from a half an inch over the far northeast to maybe three and a half inches of rain, but that could be in any thunderstorms that repeatedly move over the same area.